Welcome to today's Garage Devotional. I'm Pastor Ted from Connect Church. Today our Garage Devotional is entitled, Dumb as a Donkey. Have you ever heard the saying, dumb as a donkey, or that donkeys are dumb? Well, today's strange, weird, or unique passage is found in the Old Testament book of Numbers, chapter 22, and it involves a talking donkey. But before we look at today's passage, let's look at this week's strange, weird, or unique vehicle. Let me get, get it here for you. This is our strange, unique vehicle this week. It is a Dodge Deora, a Dodge Deora. It was made in 1965. It looks a little like something that came out of the Jetsons, that, that uh, cartoon that was around many years ago. It has a widened truck bed, so it could carry lots of materials or even throw people back there during that day uh, and period. It was built in 1965, as I said. But in 2009, think about this, this car, uh, one of these cars sold for $325,000. Would you pay that much for this weird Dodge? I don't know if I would. Okay, so today, as we, we go into our garage devotional, we're going to be looking at a passage and I want to give you a little background of this passage. It's going to be found in, again, Numbers 22. The Israelites have escaped from Egypt. They're on their way to the Promised Land. And as they go, they pass through different areas of different kingdoms. And at this point, they came across Moab. And it was a kingdom. And the king of Moab was very fearful of the Israelites, because he heard how they came out of Egypt, and they, Egypt was just decimated when they came out, so he was afraid of them. Now enter a man named Balaam, who we might call a prophet for a hire. Balaam, at first, when the, when the king of Moab came, I want you to prophesy against the Israelites, he told them he wouldn't prophesy against them. But God told him to go ahead and go with them. So he went with them as they began to search out the Israelites and they would stop in different areas and look over the, the, the land where the Israelites were traveling through and they he wanted him to prophesy against them. Uh, but when he began to prophesy, he prophesied to bless Israel. And they took him to another place and he prophesied to bless Israel. And they kept on doing that. And finally, finally, it came to this place where Balaam kept on doing that, and they said, one more time, do it. But the one more time was not what he was supposed to do. So he goes, and they offer him more money each time, so it's, the money got high enough, so he was going to go, and hopefully his, he is planning on being able to prophesy against Israel and not to bless them. So he was going to speak this destructive word. Let me begin reading in chapter 22, verses 22 to 33, to give us the context now of this weird and unique verse. But God's anger was kindled because he went and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as an adversary. He says an adversary to Balaam. Now he was riding on a donkey and his two servants were with him. And the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand. And the donkey turned aside out of the road and went into the field. And Balaam struck the donkey to turn her into the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path between the vineyards with a wall on either side. And when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she pushed against the wall and pressed Balaam's foot against the wall. So he struck her again. Then the angel of the Lord went ahead and stood in a narrow, narrow place where there's no way to turn. And when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down under Balaam. She just laid flat and didn't move. And Balaam's anger was kindled and he struck the donkey with his staff. Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey here comes the talking donkey. And she said to Balaam, What have I done to you that you have struck me these three times? And Balaam said to the donkey, Because you have made a fool of me. He says, He made a fool of me. I wish I had a sword in my hand, for then I would kill you. And the donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden all your life long this and into this day? Is it my habit to treat you this way? 
And he said, no. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in his way with his sword drawn in his hand. And he bowed down and he fell on his face. And the angel of the Lord said to him, why have you struck your donkey these three times? I have come out to oppose you. And because you, because you're on your way in a perverse way before me. So he says, your way is perverse before me. You're going to try to curse Israel. The donkey saw me and turned aside before me these three times. If she had not turned aside from me, surely just now I would have killed you and let her live. What, what a unique passage. A talking donkey that saves Balaam's life, even though he beat her all the, these three times because he thought she was being disobedient and not following what he wanted him to do. Maybe we should ask ourselves, are we as smart as a donkey? Are we as smart as a donkey? Research has shown that donkeys have an excellent memory and a great ability to learn. A 2013 study by the Donkey Sanctuary found that they can learn and problem solve at the same pace as dolphins and dogs. That makes them very intelligent. They're not dumb. They're stubborn at times. That's that. We know that they're stubborn at times. And this passage shows us how stubborn Balaam was. Stubborn to try to get that, that financial reward. Stubborn to keep going in his way when all the time God was now at this point telling him, don't go that way. But he was stubborn because he wanted the financial gain. How, how many times are we stubborn when it comes to following the voice of the Lord? When it comes to following the will of the Lord? How many times do we insist on our way when God say, no, go this way? Here's four applicational points for us today. Listen to the word of God. Let us listen and follow the word of God. Not resist it, not push against it, not try to get around it, but let's listen. Second, don't try to see how far you can go and still stay a little on the side of right. See, he was trying to go as far as he go, could go and maybe still stay on the side of right. Let's, let's not try to find out how far we could go to stay on the side of the right. Let's get as close to Jesus and his word and his blessings as we can. Three, choose integrity over profit and compromise. Choose integrity over profit and compromise. So many times we might compromise for what we might get out of it. How, you know, we want to, let's, let's, well, this is okay to do this little compromise because it'll, it'll give me what I want or it'll bring me pleasure out of this. No, choose integrity over profit and compromise every time. Lastly, listen to the Holy Spirit. Let us listen to the Holy Spirit. He will always lead and direct us in the right direction. So to close, let's be like the donkey, not like Balaam. Let's be like the donkey, not like Balaam. Blessings. We'll see you next week with another car and another unique passage. Again, please email me at ted at connectchurchventura.com. I'd like you to submit unique or strange passages that you would like maybe us to dig into and look at. So please do that. I'd love to have that happen. Lord bless you. Have a great day.